Hello there. We're Hello. back. Um, so I've done all of the preparing that we need to prepare. Yes. And we even did that date with, uh, what's her name? Undyne? Undyne. Which will be played right now. Oh! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Well, yeah. Sure. Sure. Why not? Okay! Here. Stand behind me! Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. A dog bone? It, yeah, it just looks like a bone wrapped in gift wrap. Oh, scary house. I actually don't remember what voice I gave her. Just talk it. Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one on one training? I'm kind of giving her a. Uh... You bet I am! And I brought a friend! That's how you do extra private one-on-one -on -one training. Hi, I don't think we've... Ugh. Why don't you two come in? I don't think she likes us. Well, she had, she was... She's more fond of us than she was. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll put it with the others. Huh. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Um. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that's not the bathroom. I'll... Scrape out the window. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Yeah. No, wait. Maybe. No? Probably should say no. Okay. I'm thinking we should probably say no. Okay. I said no last time, too. Then why are you here? Wait. I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes, or never with you. Probably yes. Probably should say yes, again, with the entire reason we're doing this before. Yeah. Really? Why did you order that? Oh, route? delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! That was easy. Not! Oh, dang, she totally got me with that. Why would I ever be friends with you? Because I asked nicely. If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. It's a little strong. That is also true. It's a little strong. I will never be your friend! Now get out of my house. Dang! What a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge?! What?! Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it! I said, make sure my mic was on. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke! I can make friends with a whimsy, wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Okay, let's sit down, I guess. Can we touch the sword? Let's touch the piano. Touch. One time, Alphys, a uh, friend, came over here. Oh, Alphys' friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. Was it, um... But I admire his lifestyle. Was it the robot? How does... How would Meditin lie seductively on the piano? He's a box. In his other form. Oh, uh, maybe. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Okay, I'm gonna stop stalling here. Might as well. 
I'm really sorry for the frame dropage, everybody. I don't know what's going on. Sit down and progress. Yeah. I like that it says sit down and progress. Right. Comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. So we got some boxes, we got a can, we got a bottle, and something else. Okay. So, now we get to choose. Okay. Just kidding. Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. <laughs> All right. So, you can choose. Huh. Might as well just go through all our options here. I guess. Undyne, are, are you hitting on me? <laughs> and then if you do it again, she's just like, whoa. You can choose sugar. sugar. goes in tea. That sugar is for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do you, what do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spheres? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yeah, Is that it? totally. What? Really? That rules! Got soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Oh, soda. Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Yeah, that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? <sighs> okay. Hot chocolate in a green cylinder. Okay. You not gonna question that one? No. Why? Because it's in a blue cylinder. It's like teal, it's like a blue-green. Just like the energy spear. Oh. You want some hot chocolate? Wait. Wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. As Cork kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay. Next choice we can't choose because it's the blatantly correct choice. Blatantly correct choice. <laughs> so we're just gonna move on to the fridge. Full of food. Got it. The fridge! You want the entire fridge. No! Can we choose this word? Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. It's an acquired, acquired taste. taste. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Okay, I guess we should go with the blatantly obvious choice. You should probably go with the blatantly correct choice, yeah. Tea, huh? Coming right up. And now we just have to wait on the tea to make. Because this is exciting content. Mm hmm. Should probably get that bottle of soda away from the hot eye. Nah, it'll be okay. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Is, is the water. Are you, are you I wish my water boiled that fast. Yeah. Okay. It's all It done. made a slide whistle noise, by the way. Yeah, I know. I did this earlier, just to make sure. We need to let it steep for two to three minutes. I actually think that's what she's going to say. Here we are. Careful. It's hot. Yep. And now we just have, like, awkward wait time. It's not that hot! Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. Mm. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. Mm. That's Asgore's favorite kind. It's, uh, it's moments like that that make more sense the second time through. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. This sort of... Thanks? I think. You know, 
That was a that was a pretty hot head. Oh, pretty hot headed. I, I let me write that as pretty hot head kid. Whatever. Anyway, once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him, and worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I really wish he would have done that with us. Yeah, no, I was right. so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Do you know how to beat me? Do you want to know? Do you want to know? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I've never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. And so I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like a uh, papyrus. Who is not here for his super secret training. Mm. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can never let papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's hes too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? Oh, that turned out well. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. He makes spaghetti. I think that's the only thing that he makes. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson? He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, You'll have to have it for him! That makes sense. Yeah. This is battle music. Yeah, this is definitely battle music. Now she's just gonna kick everything off. Yeah, Helen. She should be able to just run across the hot city. It may not be hot anymore. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I, Papyrus and I closer together than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, you will become closer than you can ever imagine! Whoa! Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! That's a weird way to carry a child. I mean, try with Aaron now. I bet it'll work. Let's start with Whoa. this horse! She keeps. Is that a banana? That's a banana. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now! Neither. Pound them to dust with your Only fists. one of those things is a vegetable. How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? Well, strong, obviously. Okay. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it is my turn! Yeah! It's a good way to make a sauce. Yeah, that banana exploded. Uh, we'll just scrape this to a bowl later. But for now! We add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Yeah! Um, just put them in the pot. How will we put them in? Fiercely or carefully? Fiercely. Okay. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. <laughs> it clanks against the empty bottom. There should probably be water in there. There should be water in there. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright. Now, it's time to stir the pasta. We still need water in it. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! I just gotta press Z repeatedly. There's... It's... It's just stir cardboard water. and noodle. There needs to be water Ta -da! in there. 
This is not oh, no. spaghetti. Uh, let me do it. She's just gonna beat him with her spear. Okay, that works. Oh, that's the stuff. All right. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready. Don't hold anything back. All right. Can you hold left? Can't. Left. You fool. This burner only goes one way. <laughs> Fair enough. Guess, guess we're going to turn up the heat. We have made a full rotation. I'm fairly certain that is not how stoves work. None of this is how any of this works. <laughs> you would be the one to point this out, wouldn't you? Okay, hotter, hotter. Is this a gas stove? <sighs> Let me do it. See? This is how you... I think we just blew it up. We'll certainly find out in a moment. Yep, we incinerated her house. Ah, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. He, I mean, he was pretty good at that spaghetti that he made us for the date. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can... Do you want to yeah. try that again? Nope. Moving on. Okay. Now come on! Hit me with all you've got. Yeah! Undyne's letting you make the first attack. Well, that's not... Let's go ahead and... Fake attack. Fake attack there. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Well. There we go. That is what I was looking for. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to harm me or hurt me, huh? Yeah. You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick. But those are big words. That way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. We totally can do that. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. And that's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Yeah, probably a good idea. Probably for the best. I like that the house is crying. You do. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere I'll else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go to hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden. Oh, oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see ya later, punk. And just like that, we're friends with Undyne. Well, that works. All it took was burning her house down. Hey, you know what? I've done harder things. So anyway, now back to wherever we were in the other video. Yay. Yay. And that was a good date. Yay. All right. 
So, in my perspective. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure how much time passed for you. Take, get in the get in the igloo. In the igloo. One of your dogs is drinking an ocean again. That's life. So, what happened after I uh, beat uh, Metaton is I got a call from Undying saying, "Hey, I've got something you need to come get from me." You got to turn the volume down, huh? A little loud. Yes. Probably should have done that while we were preparing. No, it's all right. But anyway, Undyne said, hey, come get this thing from me. And yeah. you're, for some reason, walking away from Undyne. I'm not really sure why. I don't why. know where I am. You haven't played this game before. You're in Snowden. She's attending beside Bathyrus. Oh, there she is. So there you go. Talk to Undyne. And I'm not going to do her voice, because I don't feel like it. So she has a favor to ask of us. Apparently. And um, she needs you to deliver this letter to Dr. Office. I don't like Dr. Office. I know you don't, but this is an entire date dealing with Dr. Uh. Office. So, uh. Uh, you know, this is going to be fun for you. And she doesn't like the Hotland because she's a fish. You know, yeah, she kind of is, isn't she? Yes, with an eye patch. And because I have already... We should totally read it. Looked at this. Yeah, just stand right in front of her. Is it right in front of her? Stand right in front of her and read it. See, there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like it. But what does what does the letter say? That she, you, that's she. She saw you trying to open the letter. I don't think you have to stand like right in front of her. She just sees you the entire screen. So anyway, you remember where the boatman is? Vaguely, this direction to the to the left. Oh, I was completely wrong. Go to the boatman. We'll meet you at another place. <laughs> so something that we skipped on our last run. We skipped lots. Well, yes, but there is a uh, a shop that sold a mysterious key. And that mysterious key is to this red house over here on the right. Okay. So go into the house. Books! Start from the left. Dear diary, Shyron's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Luki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Okay. Dearer Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, my cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Bluki and I. Bluki asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal, too. I sounded so resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides... I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. <clears throat> My darling diary. I met someone. Interesting, today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. And she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear... My diary collection is going fabulously. I did my tablet, tablet. I have like five now. Tablet. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Bluey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Oh my goodness, was he a ghost? Metaton was a ghost. Metaton was a ghost? Yeah. Also, there if we had read this first, there would have, something he would have said would have made way more sense. What did he when, say? When uh, we were doing the fight with him, he had the call-in moment. Mm -hmm. Like the very first person, I was like, oh, that's got to be Napstablook by the way he's talking. Yeah. Uh, when that caller hangs up, he's like, no, wait, comma, BL dot 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 dot. Yeah, Blukey. Yeah, like Blukey. And then he's like, no, bring him back. And then, like, so when I was but editing... also, he was a girl ghost, apparently. Apparently. Or he just likes pink. But anyway, that was just a, a nice little sidetrack to let you know Metaton was a ghost. That's nice. To the Hotlands! To the Hotlands! Um, yes. Okay, sure. Oh, oh, no. Is that another letter? Another one? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? Not sure that's how mail works, but okay, office. No. 
I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind kind of strongly, isn't it? That's something that we didn't actually do. Is try to open it without Undyne around because it says it's like shut so strongly you can't open it. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Hey, this is a joke. It's. Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And and I had no idea you um wrote that way. It's surprising too. After all the gross stuff I did. Like, you know, call us fifty billion times. Mm -hmm. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um this and so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh boy. Dating start. Dating start! Or not. Maybe not. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Oh boy. <laughs> And how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey, wait, wait. Actually, we can't start the date yet. Dating. Stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your fiction stat statistic first. Okay. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? I'd rather you didn't. Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Okay. Um, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Uh, okay. Your, uh, your scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um, hey, let's forget about the items. But I like items. Let's just start the date. Okay, please. Dating, start. Yeah, let's, uh, let's date. Oh, the emails. It's actually not the recording citing it, so. Oh. We're the only ones that can see that. Uh, do you like anime? Do you like it? Taliana, you like anime. Yes, I like anime. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. That's a great place. That's a great date. This is the perfect date spot. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no. Here she comes. Hey! I forget what voice I gave you. So, there you are. It's just my voice. You're now me, Undyne. I uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm going to do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Yeah. She's clearly nervous. Yes. So she's somewhere around here? Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well... I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. Well, I don't like either I of you, so y'all just be happy together. figured, you know, it'd be f fun to go on a date, on like a cute kind of pretend date with you, to make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse than I want to put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. 
Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I wanted to be a lumberjack. I think you're a little bit confused. Oh, sorry. I've Stick told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... Stick to the script. She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets com close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? <laughs> Keep lying, obviously. Really? No, I, I don't know. You you choose. You're the you're the morals in this operation. Truth. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way, to live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Oh boy. Obviously, it's role play. <laughs> role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'd love to be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Uh, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? Oh, You're dear. cute! Whoops. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Kiss she kisses you. What? what? Undyne would never, uh, 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 I kiss her back, so softly. <laughs> I l look gently into her <laughs> eyes. This is awkward. I start hollering. Well, well. Undyne, well, well, I love well, you. Well, well. Undyne, kiss me again, whoa, Undyne! Whoa, whoa, wait a second. What <laughs> did you just say? <laughs> She's right behind me, isn't she? Uh, uh, Undyne, <laughs> I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were. But, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like sign something. Important. Really, I just, something. What she's talking about? That's not even me. Okay. Well. In the history movies, those those are just uh, anime. anime. <laughs> oh, they aren't real. real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. I I, would, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser, Alphys. And I I I really think you're neat. Okay, Alphys. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> shh, shh. And then she just picks her up. And cracks her neck. Oh, and then her. throws her into the trash oh, can. Dubai. What? Alphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is nerdy crap. Nice. <laughs> What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want to have to lie to anyone anymore. I want you to have to lie to anyone. Whatever. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're, you're gonna train me? Mm -hmm. 
What? Me? Oh, God. Oh, good. Nah. I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. I like his job boy sweater. <laughs> get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps! Hooting about... <laughs> How great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Oh, boy. Undyne! No, Wait, that's me. Why? Undyne. I, uh... I'll do my best. You're the one with the Papyrus font. Yes, I am. Oh, my God. She was kidding, right? <laughs> those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime's real. Anime's <laughs> life. I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Cool.